The Mysteries of Sonoluminescence Sonoluminescence, a fascinating phenomenon where light is emitted from microscopic bubbles in a liquid subjected to sound waves, has intrigued scientists for decades. Despite continuous study, it still holds many mysteries. It is a spectacle that defies our understanding of physics and leaves us questioning the very fabric of reality. But what exactly does sonoluminescence entail? Before we get into this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. Take a moment to imagine a tiny bubble suspended in a liquid, nestled in a chamber. Now imagine sound waves gently caressing this bubble, nudging it with their invisible fingers. As the waves converge and collide, a symphony of pressure builds within the bubble, compressing it to unimaginable densities. Then, in a burst of brilliance, light erupts from the heart of the bubble, illuminating the darkness with its ephemeral glow. The story of sonoluminescence begins in 1934 at the University of Cologne, when the effect was first discovered as a result of work on sonar. When Hermann Frenzel and H. Schultes placed an ultrasound transducer in photographic developer fluid, intending to hasten the development process, they unexpectedly observed minuscule dots on the developed film, realizing that bubbles in the fluid emitted light when exposed to ultrasound. Initial analysis proved challenging due to the intricate nature of numerous short-lived bubbles, and this phenomenon is now termed multi-bubble sonoluminescence, MBSL. Over 50 years later, in 1989, Felipe Gaetan and Lawrence Crum made a discovery, achieving single bubble sonoluminescence, SBSL. This technique, where a single bubble emits light pulses within an acoustic standing wave, simplified the study of this phenomenon, revealing the bubble's extreme heat, capable of melting steel. Interest in sonoluminescence was reignited when speculation suggested temperatures surpassing 1 million kelvins. However, more recent experiments from the University of Illinois estimated the temperature around 20,000 kelvins. Sonoluminescence occurs when a sufficiently intense sound wave induces a gaseous cavity in liquid to rapidly collapse. This cavity formed either from a pre-existing bubble or through cavitation emits light as it collapses. In controlled laboratory conditions, sonoluminescence can be stabilized, causing a single bubble to cyclically expand and collapse emitting light with each collapse. This phenomenon relies on establishing a standing acoustic wave in the liquid, positioning the bubble at a pressure antinode of the wave. The resonance frequencies are determined by the shape and size of the container holding the bubble. Sonoluminescence presents some intriguing characteristics. The emitted light flashes are incredibly brief, typically lasting between 35 and a few hundred picoseconds, with peak intensities ranging from one to 10 million dollars. These bubbles are minuscule, measuring about one micrometer in diameter, depending on the surrounding fluid, such as water, and the gas composition inside the bubble, often atmospheric air. Single bubble sonoluminescence also exhibits remarkable stability in terms of both period and position. In some cases, the frequency of light flashes proves to be more consistent than the rated frequency stability of the oscillator producing the sound waves driving the bubbles. However, analysis of the bubble's stability reveals significant geometric instabilities caused by factors like Bjerknes forces and Rayleigh-Taylor instabilities. Furthermore, the introduction of a small quantity of noble gas such as helium, argon, or xenon into the bubble's gas content amplifies the intensity of the emitted light. The light emitted has a short wavelength, extending to ultraviolet. Shorter wavelengths mean higher energy, and the measured spectrum of emitted light suggests a temperature in the bubble of at least 20,000 kelvins, possibly exceeding 1 megakelvin. However, estimating these temperatures is challenging because water, for instance, absorbs nearly all wavelengths below 200 nanometer. Different methods, like extrapolating from emission spectra or using a modified Rayleigh-Plessit equation, yield varying estimates. Some suggest temperatures inside the bubble could reach 1 gigakelvin, but these models are currently unverifiable and rely on many unsupported assumptions. High temperatures like this make the study of sonoluminescence fascinating as it could lead to a method for achieving thermonuclear fusion. If the bubble reaches sufficient heat and pressure, fusion reactions similar to those in stars like the Sun could happen within these small bubbles. This idea is sometimes called bubble fusion. On January 27, 2006, scientists at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute 
announced they created fusion reactions through sonoluminescence without using an outside neutron source. These are results other scientists haven't replicated yet. Beyond its scientific significance, though, sonoluminescence holds promise for a myriad of applications, from advanced imaging techniques to the study of exotic states of matter. Researchers envision harnessing the power of sonoluminescence to create miniature light sources for medical diagnostics, quantum computing, and even fusion energy. But perhaps the true allure of sonoluminescence lies not in its practical applications, but in its ability to ignite the imagination. It is a reminder that amidst the vastness of the cosmos, there are still mysteries waiting to be unraveled, still wonders waiting to be discovered. As we gaze into the depths of the bubbles in sonoluminescence, we are confronted with the awe-inspiring beauty of the universe. It is a beauty that knows no limits. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have yet to do so. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well because we have more interesting videos on the way that you cannot afford to miss.